Thanks for joining us on this brief introduction to window film. We're going to cover a few topics very briefly that aren't covered in other lightning fast training opportunities. The contents for today are going to be first uh, just a couple slides on, on what is this construction, what is this thing we're calling window film, and how can I really quickly get an understanding of how it's made and, and a perspective of the equipment. Then we'll get into competitive landscape. How can I see opportunity and what are the competitors out there? And lastly, just a, a brief, a couple slides on the installation, the tools used in installation so that as a, as a person who may not be installing window film yourself, how can you understand the tools that they use? First, our manufacturing overview. Now this is a graphic simplification, but at, a, at its core, a window film, whether it's an automotive or an architectural window film, is, is a backbone of PET or, or polyester, you can think of it. To that polyester, that PET background, backbone, you add a scratch resistant coating. And the purpose of this coating is to provide for a scratch resistant surface both during the installation and after installation so that it can last through years and years of, of cleaning. On the other side is a pressure sensitive or, or a dry adhesive, but a mounting adhesive that is used so that once you remove the release liner, you expose the adhesive that's built into the film so that it can be installed. And since many watching this brief presentation won't be able to make it into a window film manufacturing facility, let's just look at a couple slides to give you a visual on what that might look like. This first image is of a, a roll to roll coating machine. On one end, the PET is coated with either that hard coat, that scratch resistant coating, or the mounting adhesive, and it's put up through this long horizontal oven where it's dried, and then it's rewound in these giant rolls on the other end. Those giant rolls are then put on an inspection or slitting machine, a different machine, which unwinds these rolls into 100 foot rolls. 100 foot roll being an appropriate size for a window film installer to have. And now what about this competitive landscape? How can you look at a building and see opportunity? As you look near the top of this building, you see these light purple windows. And then in the middle at the top, you see these kind of dark green and gray windows. And then towards the middle near the bottom, you see white windows where all the blinds are pulled. If you look at a building like this, what you can see is some of the occupants have selected window film. Not necessarily an appropriate window film. As you can see, some have faded to purple. They used an, an inappropriate film for a building. And some have not chosen window film. What are some of the misconceptions about the options? One is that single pane glass is, is, is worthless. That nobody should put that on at any time for any reason. When in fact, often a single pane glass with a window film is the best and most economical solution to the problem. The other is dual pane low E is always the best option. Well, as you go around a building, you may find that the south elevation, you don't want a heat rejection because in the northern climates, you want that free heat. Another misconception is that window films have to be dark or shiny or that window films will change color or demetalize. And lastly, that window films have durability issues because scratching on them is common because of cleaning. And that not only that all sides of a building need to be coated, but the misconception that if they are all coated, they need to be the same film. These are all misconceptions about options for window film. What are some of the ways to look at competitive landscape? Well, let's look first at the companies that are out there manufacturing and selling window film. In addition to Edge Film Technologies, there's Eastman, 
which manufactures all these brands, Lumar, Vista, Gila, Formula One, and SunTech. There's SolarGuard, Saint-Cobain, that manufactures the SolarGuard and Panorama and Armor Coat brands. There's 3M and Matico and SunGuard are, are different brands of the same manufacturer, Johnson Window Films, and then many, many other international manufacturers make up the majority of the companies competing in the window film market. But also in that landscape are different product types. There's a conventional shiny silver or bronze, a, a, a dual reflective, and, which is shinier on one side than the other. Spectrally selective films, which are generally very clear, very light, but reject heat. Low E films, and, and we go through these product types in another uh, abbreviated session, so we're not going to go through these here. But look through this list and understand both the companies and the products and that intersection that makes for your specific competitive landscape. We now consider just some guidelines on installation and tools. If you're going to be an installer, this is not sufficient for you. This is more a general understanding for a non-installer to have just an understanding of the tools available and how to measure windows for window. The first is if you've got a set of windows, you don't measure the rough opening cutting across multiple panes. You measure each pane separately. And then in the picture in the upper right, you see that you measure the height from edge to edge, not counting the frame. And again, width from edge to edge, not counting the frame. What are some of these installation tools? Starting in the left top row, this is a, a pressurized sprayer that's used so an installer can bring a, a lot of water to an installation site and they pressurize these tanks so that you can continue working without having to pump and spray and squeeze a, a, a spray bottle. The top middle is a cleaning squeegee. Top right is a scraper. Go by different names. Some, some of them are branded Triumph scrapers, but these are scrapers that are used to clean the glass before the installation of window film. Bottom right is an example of a retractable razor blade knife. Uh, Olfa is a typical brand or Red Dot is another brand. Bottom middle is a, a film handler. This is a a piece of equipment that attaches to the top of a ladder typically and allows you to mount a whole roll of film and make multiple cuts along the width of the film while you cut the length of the film. And then the bottom left is a, a Blue Max squeegee. It's, it's, it's unlike the installation squeegee in the top middle because it's very hard and it's smaller. So you use this to install the film, allowing you to get more pressure in a smaller area. So to summarize, this was a very quick, less than 10 minutes presentation on some points about window film for non-installers that you might not get in other abbreviated sessions. We went through just some basics of the window film, how it's made and what it's made of and some of the, the equipment that it's made on. We discussed briefly a competitive landscape and then just how do you measure windows and and, and as I'm talking, how do I understand the tools that are used to install window film? As usual, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at training at programedge.com. Thank you.